Yo, I'm Brian P. You're watching Bad Seed Tech, and today we're taking a look at the Mod Mic Wireless Headset Mic from Antlion Audio. The Mod Mic Wireless retails for about 120 bucks and allows you to add a wireless headset mic to any headset or headphone out there, wired or wireless. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux systems. For console, it's only compatible with PS4, so Xbox is out on this one, unfortunately. It's a simple concept, but it's not a new one. Antlion's actually been perfecting and evolving the Mod Mic series for some time now. The previous flagship, the Mod Mic 5, sounds excellent with only one real drawback. Though the Mod Mic 5 was removable from your headphone by using this magnetic anchor system, the problem was you had an additional cable to manage. Depending on how particular you were about this, it could include cable clips and a full wire loom. This looked clean and functioned well, but it meant that that mic was probably going to live on that headset for a while because moving it to a different headset meant undoing all that and then redoing it again. This also really impacted the ability to just pull the mic off and throw the headphones in your bag or wear them out of the house. Moving away from all of that hassle is what gives the Mod Mic Wireless the potential to be like an MB NBA Jam style half court slam dunk. I don't use the word game changer often, but eh. So what we get here out of the box is a nice zipper case with everything you need packed inside. You have the receiver, the mic itself, a USB to micro USB cable for charging, a USB extender cable, an alcohol wipe, two magnetic anchors, and a total of four adhesive pads. If you're coming from a previous version of the mod mic, you are going to have to upgrade the little magnetic anchor system. Antlion calls this a base clasp. Base clasp. Base clasp. Clasp. It's a weird word. Reason being is that the new clasp has a stronger magnet in order to accommodate the additional weight of the microphone. It's not really optional anyway, as previous mod mics were intended to be installed on the left side, whereas the mod mic wireless is intended to be installed on the right side for some reason. This has the logo facing the right direction and also has the charging point facing down if you're in a situation where you need to play and charge. If you do try to cheat and install this on the left side using the old anchor system, you'll find that the mod mic wireless sits at a really goofy angle and you're gonna have to do some crazy bending to get that thing in front of your mouth. So to install a clasp, you just wipe the surface with alcohol, let that dry, attach the clasp to the mic, peel off the adhesive, and then mount the mic exactly where you want it. Get it situated, press it in, pull the mic off, and then you're going to have to lean into this thing with your thumbs for about a full minute. It's important to note you'll need to let this thing cure for at least an hour. Mod Mic really recommends 24. If you're going to be installing on a mesh surface, it's important to get the sticky pad a little warm with either a hair dryer or a heat gun first. And if you need to, removal isn't bad either. Just go slow and careful. Use a little heat with a hair dryer if you have to, but it shouldn't permanently alter the headphone in any way. Once the clasp is fitted, installation on the PC is a breeze. Now make sure your mic is charged first. Just plug it into the charging cable that amber light is going to flash while it's charging it'll go solid when it's good to go battery life here is rated at 12 hours but you can always play and charge if you get yourself in a pinch once the thing's fully charged up you just plug the receiver into the pc and you're off to the races it's worth noting here that across my two weeks of testing i did have to repair this system a couple times normally after a reboot or if i unplugged and plugged it back in and there's no dedicated software here so you just hop into windows settings and get it all set to go make sure you're running at one channel 16 bit 48 hertz to get the best quality audio i normally leave the mic volume right around 90 because anything north of that results in some really high levels which is crazy for a wireless mic the wireless here is bluetooth but it's handled by a codec called aptx the reason why this is important is because it allows the full bandwidth of the bluetooth connection dedicated simply to mic audio most bluetooth headsets you have this itty bitty band dedicated to just the mic quality and you can really hear the quality difference on playback this codec is supposed to be fast and carry a lot of data in practice i didn't have any lag or static crackles dropouts or anything you only have two controls on the unit itself. The first is the logo button, which will mute and unmute digitally with a quick press, or if you hold it down for a couple seconds and release, the unit will power down. Since you can't see the red light to indicate mute, obviously on the outside of the mic itself, there's also a red light on the receiver that will light when it's muted, so you always have a visual cue. There's also a switch near the mic capsule itself that's going to switch from omni to unidirectional mode. Now, omni is going to be what you want to use for recording or streaming. It's going to have a wider frequency, it sounds a little better, but it's also going to pick up mic noise from everywhere, so you're going to need to be in a pretty quiet environment. Unidirectional mode will be more focused on your voice and will do a better job of blocking out background noise at the expense of a little bit of audio quality. As luck would have it, I happen to have some pretty nice examples of gaming mics on high-end headsets from the likes of Sennheiser, SteelSeries, and the Corsair HS70 Wireless. Let's hear how the Mod Mic stacks up against some competition, as well as Antlion's own Mod Mic 5. So here's the Mod Mic Wireless in omnidirectional mode. This is the mode that's going to pick up audio from all over the place, but it's also going to have a wider frequency, so this is the one you're going to want to use if you're trying to stream or you're trying to record something. Just be aware that the noise cancellation in this mode is minimal, so you're going to want to use 
this in a pretty quiet environment. I'm actually running this at 90% mic volume because anything north of that, these levels get really hot. It's actually pretty surprising to see levels this strong for a wireless microphone. And now you're hearing it in unidirectional mode. This is the mode that's supposed to employ a lot of background noise cancellation. This is great for use in noisy environments. Traditionally, noise cancellation brings in a lot of artifacts with it, especially on an onboard mic in. Any noise cancellation I've ever used, the artifacts have just been overwhelming. What you're hearing right now is supposed to be the audio step down. And for me, this still sounds better than the other wireless microphones. This is the Corsair HS70. This represents what $100 will get you out of a wireless gaming headset. As a headset, I like it. As a gaming mic, it's one of the lower tier I've ever heard. I wish I still had a HyperX flight in-house. I did go back and listen to some of my samples of the mic test that I took with that a long time ago. The HyperX does sound better than this. It sounds a little more fuller, but it also has the potential to get pretty boomy. But based on the overall levels, the audio quality, the artifacting that we're hearing with the HS70, this would make a prime candidate for a mod mic wireless. On the other end of the cost spectrum, here is a $330 flagship wireless system. This is the SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless. This is like my favorite gaming headset of all time. I use it every day all around the house. Here you're listening to the ClearCast mic. And while it does sound pretty clear, it lacks any kind of bottom end. It's also pretty close to my mouth too. And as much as it breaks my heart to say it, I think that this is bested by the Mod Mic Wireless as well. All right, let's turn up the heat a little bit. What you're hearing is the boom mic on the Sennheiser GSP 500. This is their flagship open back gaming headset. The Sennheiser mics are widely regarded as one of the best mics in gaming, and it's easy to hear why. You're hearing this running right into the Realtek mic input of the onboard audio on my X370 motherboard. And I think it pulls ahead of the Mod Mic Wireless, if even a bit, just because of the low end presence that I'm not hearing on the Mod Mic Wireless. And here for comparison is Antlion's own Mod Mic 5. I honestly forget how good this mic sounds because I don't use it all the time. It does have a natural warmth in the low end, but it also has really crystal clear highs that can cut through some of the in game sounds to help you communicate with your teammates better. But give a listen here to this noise floor. You get that little buzz there. So that's the trade-off. You do get a natural warm sound, but you're also getting a noisier mic input depending on what you're using. And of course, you're missing out on the convenience of wireless. So there you go. Pretty solid sound overall, especially in Omni mode. And for me, at least, it outclasses all the other wireless offerings. As far as the wired stuff goes, you are going to give up the bass. But listen to this noise floor. There's like nothing there at all. So that's the trade-off. You don't have the noise associated with the onboard mic input when you're using a wired headset. As for the PS4, you will need to use the USB extender cable if you're planning on using the front USB ports as that receiver is just a little too thick to squeeze in there. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a way right now to capture mic audio coming out of the PS4, but my buddy that I tested with said it sounded really hot even with the mic volume reduced all the way. If you're curious about this, you can check out a stellar review from Epos Vox over on his channel. I'll link the video in the description below. So as far as that application and value, this opens up a lot of options. Obviously, being able to use any kind of headphone, wireless or wired, opens up a lot of options. Thing is, if you're gaming in a high-end headset, you're probably also using an external headphone amp or an external DAC amp. The amount of DAC amps on the market that also have a mic in are really limited, with only models from like Burson Audio, Mayflower Electronics, and Sennheiser coming to mind. So this opens up a world of options if you're shopping for an external DAC amp, or if you simply want to use your existing high-end setup and adapt it to a gaming environment. The other a pretty obvious application here is that if you happen to own a wireless headset already and the mic's kind of eh, or you own a wireless headphone that doesn't have a mic at all, this allows you to add a mic and stay full wireless. I personally have never been a fan of a desktop mic. I have enough stuff on my desk already. I do use a large diaphragm condenser microphone on a boom arm when I'm streaming, but that's in a multi-PC setup with a mixer board, and it's kind of in a budget class all its own. On the topic of budget, one of the beautiful things about Mod Mic is it's always been a fairly affordable add-on. The Mod Mic 4 goes for like 55 bucks. The Mod Mic 5 goes for like 70 bucks. The Mod Mic Wireless comes in at just under $120. That's not an insignificant amount of money. This means you'll probably spend a little time weighing your options, trying to figure out which direction you want to go, but that's all personal preference. Now, because I know it's going to pop up in the comments, I'm well aware of, and I do own a V-Moda Boom Pro. It is a really cheap add-on mic alternative. The issue with it is, in spite of every headphone and headset that I own, I don't own a single one that it's compatible with that doesn't already have a mic of comparable quality. For me personally, I love the idea of adding this to my audio kit, because it's not going to clutter up my desk anymore, and there's times where I just don't feel like firing up the streaming piece just to have comms for a quick gaming session. Now, the only downsides for me, I don't have side tone when I use this, which means I can't hear my own voice in my cans. 
And that's a pretty high value feature for me. The other thing is it strips a lot of the natural bass out of my voice. Obviously, I'm not listening to myself when I'm gaming, but I probably wouldn't use something like this for a streaming or a voiceover situation, though it does have a really low noise floor and like no hiss when compared to an onboard mic in. It did lose pairing a couple times, but never while in use. And matter of fact, I didn't have any issues with lag or crackles or dropouts or anything associated with it not getting a consistent connection. Overall, the Mod Mic Wireless sounds amazing for a wireless mic. It's dead simple to operate and it completely solves the need to manage additional cables. For me, it's a major W. Big thanks to Anline for sending this out for review. If you want to grab one for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below. And I really want to hear from you guys in the comments. As far as the mic tests go, what sounded good to you? What didn't sound good? Which way would you lean? What are you currently using for a headset or headphone mic setup? I'd really like to know because it may help me develop some content for 2019. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up. He's actually a popcorn ball.